When I played on tour, I always took pride in my technique because that was pretty much flawless and the variety that I had. My biggest strength basically was that I didn't have any big time weaknesses that anybody could pick on. It didn't matter what my opponent threw at me, I could adapt to it and find a way to make life really, really uncomfortable for them. However, there was one part of my game, and I don't necessarily want to call it a weakness, but it definitely was an area. Had I done that better, it would have made a huge impact on my career, and that was my serve. And compared to how the women on tour serve now, my first serve back then would be a decent second serve now. And the reason why my serve was kind of lacking was really that it had a technical flaw. And that really, really bugs me because I'm a coach and I want to, of course, be able to say to my players, serve like I do and don't just serve like I tell you to do because you really don't want to copy my mistake. So what am I talking about? When I played, lots of players did this and we were taught that way. And it was that you're playing ping point only. There was no such thing as a platform stance back then, but it was taught that you would pull your right foot up, for me as a right-hander, the right foot, up to your left. And there was zero specification exactly where you should be putting your right foot. It was just pull it up. And so what I ended up doing, I developed a huge drag around with my right foot. So when I got into my loading position, I literally have both of my feet right on the baseline basically. And what that leads to is that as you're swinging up to contact and then at contact point, both of my hips and both of my shoulders were basically wide open, completely open. And that is exactly what biomechanics these days tells us we shouldn't do. When you drag your foot around, you cannot load down and back very effectively into your back leg. That's what we're supposed to be doing. You see all good players do this, whether it's a platform stance or a pinpoint, it's down and back into for me, my right leg. And when I'm dragging this open, basically all the energy that I would get out of anything loading dissipates basically into nothing. I can't really load down and back and then explode up and out. And that is the big issue with that drag around. So in this video, I wanna take you along for the ride of fixing my surf. And I'm not going for more power. I'm not going for, uh, you know, I'm not training to come back on tour or whatever. I don't even compete anymore. But what I do want to do is I want to see if I can basically reprogram my brain to doing something completely different, <laughs> basically something completely contrary to what I've literally been doing for 42 years. And I will do all the drills that I would give to someone that has that same issue because I do see that quite a lot. Basically, I wanna get back to the do as I do and not just do as I say. And for now, I'm gonna stay with my pinpoint serve. I do know that of course the platform stands would eliminate the whole dragon foot and bring the foot up thing, but I wanna change one thing at a time. When you drag your foot around, you end up having more of your body weight on your front leg, at least I did. And I wanna change that to the more correct form to having more weight on my back foot. And I'm using this stick, and I know it's looking a little weird, to help me feel that difference. And I'm just gonna help myself here, having my shoulders aligned with my elbow. And I'm trying to just coil a little bit more, and I already feel a huge difference here because I have to, of course, to bring my upper body around, I have to really get my coil here. And that is one of the huge differences because another thing that's really problematic with the dragging around is your upper body is still trying to find range. It's still trying to coil. But if you're already turned open, guess what my elbow is doing? It's going back behind the line here of my shoulder. And that's called hyperangulation. And I'm kind of very certain that that added to my shoulder problems. When you're loading, you want to stay aligned. You don't want to have your elbow escaping this way. So if I have this stick here, now if I'm coming into my loading position right here, 
and I want to get into my shoulder over shoulder position, which we want, which is my left shoulder over my right shoulder, I now feel a lot more weight in my back foot. And that is exactly what I want. So for now, I'm just trying to feel because I'm a big, big learner with just feeling. Obviously, I've seen this a million times and I've taught it a million times. But I also want to have the difference here very, very certain in my brain. And yep. And by the way, you're not going to change anything on your serve in just one minute watching a video. You have to do it over and over and over again. So I'm going to continue doing these drills way longer than what I'm showing you on the video. Still don't have my racket in my hand. Still want to just focus on my legs. I do mimic a little bit my serving motion. But what I'm adding now is that I'm pushing off a lot more off my back foot. And I do it very slowly so that I can control this movement. It doesn't have to be high. Then you can experiment a little bit more. And yes, I'm committing foot fault. Don't care. And I am checking video all the time as I'm doing this, because when we change something, we feel that even the slightest, slightest change is monumental, when in reality, it's not a big thing. So make sure that you keep checking pretty much every step along the way. Okay, adding in the rackets, still no hitting, no nothing. I'm just, again, trying to feel my way into a newer motion. Nope, still on my front foot. That was better. See how unbalanced some of these are? It's gonna happen to everyone. So don't believe all the videos that give you two, three drills and then all of a sudden, bam, the person's doing it completely different. Mm, that's not how it works. Okay, starting to shadow swing. That's when I have to check because I feel like I'm dragging around again. Yep, sure enough, I'm inching forward again too much. All right, back to the drill. It's gonna take a long time. Ooh, off balance. So now I'm trying to add a little bit more explosiveness because that really is where your power on the serve comes from. Not that I'm going for that, but if it's a byproduct, great. But you wanna really load down and back and then accelerate up out of that load as quickly as possible. Better. Nope, again, on my front foot. Trial and error, baby. Nope, definitely not on my back foot. And it feels so weird. You will notice that when you change even the slightest thing in emotion, it feels really weird. So you have to work through that. Next step, and now I'm adding one more thing. I have to undo the rotating open. So I'm working in this one very, very isolatedly, just bringing my foot up, staying more on my back foot, pushing off of my back foot, and also keeping my chest bone and my belly button facing to the camera, because I do want to stay side on as long as possible. So that you're going from your loading position, shoulder over shoulder, into the reverse shoulder over shoulder without having turned open. Wow, that feels awkward. 
better. And you see that my head is totally stiff and rigid and it looks really weird. But you probably have somebody looking in from the outside and they're going like, okay, that's just a chick working on her surfs. I hope. Wow, miss hit. Nope, definitely not better. So again, checking on video. Ooh, that one was okay. Nope. Yeah, that was major step around. And I'm noticing now that I'm focusing more on my chestnut opening up, my feet are doing whatever the heck they want to do. And I'm not sure that's good. So both, I can do two things at once. Yeah, felt better. Another drill to really drive home that you want to hit from your back leg. You're literally just hitting off your back leg. So you're balancing here and you're trying to load down and back, however much that is. I'm gonna work on loading down and back and then exploding up as much as I can from my right leg, exploding. All right, I think it's time for the real thing. Not too worried about how hard I'm hitting or if they're in or out. I'm worried about can I actually make those changes? Can I maintain them? And I do want to not have my shoulder and my elbow hurt after I serve 20, 30 balls. Okay, those felt good. Okay, the foot's, no, the, oh, nice. Okay, the foot actually stays behind the left, so I'm liking that. Uh, still turning open quite a bit. Still turning open quite a bit, but better. That's all I want. I want to see an appreciable difference between what I did before to what I'm doing now. And it's really my shoulder and my elbow that are going to be the deciding factors whether I can continue with this experiment of fixing my own serve. But if you want to continue watching videos about a serve, watch this video because that is another thing that a lot of people are doing wrong and I'll help you fix it.